Well, today, guys, we need to work on the Firebird smoking issue. You thought I was a bad smoker with my cigars? Well, the Firebird here, she's hot and she's smoking. We're gonna find out if we can add something to it to make it stop smoking or if it's just a bunch of snake oil. So uh, let's first kind of see what we're dealing with, how much smoke it makes, and then we'll go ahead and pour this stuff in that I found, and then we'll test it and see how it works. So uh, enough chit chat, and oh wait, if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about my 67 Pontiac Firebird, and I also have a 1967 Porsche 912. So if you're uh, into 67 vehicles or old classic cars, sports cars, then hit that subscribe button down there. Give me a thumbs up. Hell, give me a thumbs down. Drop me a comment and let me know what you're driving if you're driving this classic sports car. And let's get into uh, trying to fix this Firebird tonight. Let's do this. You can see how bad this motor's been smoking. Uh, obviously, haven't done a compression test just yet, but we can see that there's a lot of blow-by, and um, the motor's gonna be rebuilt or swapped out for something else. But in the meantime, I want to try this. This is what most people online recommended. So you've seen how it smokes. So uh, let's pour this in and let's see if it uh, helps out any. Let's go pour it in. All right, so this is the stuff that everyone said to uh, use to pour into the uh, motor here on the Firebird. So uh, you saw how bad it was smoking. Well, let's pour this in and uh, let's run that motor a little bit longer. The instructions say, let me uh, read for you here. They say one bottle treats four to six quarts of oil for regular four, six, and eight cylinders. Also says uh, to in empty the entire contents of the bottle in the engine crankcase, in, at, or between oil changes. Uh, idle or drive engine for five minutes after installation. Uh, it says add ring seal smoke repair every 2,000 miles or so. Well, let's, uh, let's add this in. Let's add this in and let's see what happens. Well, that stuff's kind of thick. I only have about half in there. It's kind of filling up. And it's taking a sweet time to uh, get down in there. Yeah, this stuff is thick. Which I guess is a good thing, right? And now we'll just wait for it to drain down in there. over five minutes and I don't see a change in the smoke, do you? Well, we let the engine run for 10 minutes, five minutes longer, double the time that the packaging said on this, and I mean, comment below, but did you see a change in, uh, in this? And again, I know this engine is uh, um, weak. I know it's uh, bound for a rebuild or replacement, but I was hoping to see something just for fun, you know, for $8. But uh, I guess this would be a fail, but I can't really say it's a fail since the engine is in the condition it's in after sitting for 25 years. So, um, well, on to our next thing. Hopefully now, we're gonna be able to drop this down on the ground next week and drive it around our little neighborhood just for a few minutes, just to see it before we tear into really getting this thing started, tearing it down and restoring it. 
the way I want to, the way I think my brother would, would enjoy singing it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to uh, like, subscribe, share, uh, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, um, comment below. And if you have a moment, uh, check out the t-shirts. Go uh, buy one, support the channel, help us to uh, get these videos made. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for watching uh, this episode, and uh, savethefiber.com, guys. This is such crap.